When I was asked by Teachers TV to teach a maths masterclass, I decided to tackle a topic that can be brought alive by a hands-on approach to suit a range of pupil learning styles. It's a topic that is possible to have a lot of fun with. I'm hoping that's what this group of Year 6 students from a number of North London schools will think too. Who loves football? Me. Yay! What team do you support? Liverpool. Who supports Leeds United? Oh, well, I come from Leeds and I support Leeds United. Boo. I was expecting some boos. Oh, well, I love Leeds. This is a football pitch. It's got lots of different shapes on it. What I'd like you to do is pop your clipboards down and all come up and stand on any area of the football pitch that you like. Come on, on. On we go. Any area. It could be the centre circle, penalty area. I want someone on the corner flags. There's a corner flag over here. Excellent. Excellent. Brilliant. OK, so you're all on an area of the pitch. Goodness me. You're standing there, are you? <coughs> Red card, you're off. <laughs> Sit back down. Disgusting. <gasps> And you're standing on there, are you? <coughs> Red card. Corner flag. <coughs> Red card. Off you go. <coughs> and you, Tarjana, off you go. <coughs> Alex. <coughs> Max. <coughs> Mohammed, you're all off. Ah, now then, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Why have I left these people on? Well, go on. They're all standing in rectangles. They're all standing in rectangles, sort of, but this shape here isn't quite a rectangle, is it? But it is made up of straight... Lines, straight sides. Anyone who was standing in a shape that had a bit of curved line on it, I sent off, didn't I? This quarter circle is made up of two straight lines, isn't it? And a curved line. And I sent you off. All of you that are left on the pitch are standing in polygons. <laughs> Adtha, you weren't standing in an area that had all straight sides. How do you feel? I'm very disappointed. That I couldn't stay on for the rest of the match and I blame no one but myself. Sarah, I thought you'd be playing for England and yet you haven't stood in a polygon. You got sent off. How do you feel? I feel so disappointed and very ashamed. I, but I'm just going to keep boosting up my confidence and potential. So, Mohammed, you were sent off too. How do you feel? I can't believe it. It's, this is a disaster. A polygon is a shape with all straight sides. And there's lots of things you can do with polygons. In fact, on your clipboards, you've got polygons in front of you, haven't you? Take a rectangle. A rectangular piece of paper. That's a polygon. No curved sides at all in sight. But they're not all equal, are they? No. no, but it's still a polygon. That's cool. What I'd like you to do is get this paper, and you might want to tear it, or you might want to cut it with your scissors. I want you to make a hole big enough in this polygon, big enough in this piece of paper, to fit right over your head and right round your body. A hole. Can you do it? You've got 40 seconds. Go. Fold it. It's got to go right over your head and right around your body. It's impossible. Is that what you said? Yeah. Nothing's impossible. Fit it through, don't break it. Got to go right over. Uh, go on, you can do it. Oh right God. over. Oh, uh, OK. Now, I've got an easier approach, a much easier approach, and I can make a much bigger hole than you did, so it's easy to fit round. OK. Another piece of paper. This time, you will definitely need your scissors. Fold your piece of paper, hold it landscape, like so. Yep. Fold your piece of paper in half. Can we manage that? Hold your fingers somewhere in the middle, like that. Grip it tight, then cut down towards your fingers and stop when you get to your fingers. So you're going to snip it in half, but you're going to leave a good centimetre or two. There, look. Each half, I want you to cut into thirds. So two more cuts. One, two on one side, OK? But leave a centimetre or so gap. And three more wiggly bits on the other side. So we should have... Looks a bit like a crown, doesn't it? Can you see that? Six. Wiggly bits. Open it out. We've actually got four fingers stuck inside. Can you see? One, two, three, four. I want you to snip, OK, the ends of each of those fingers. Watch carefully before you start snipping. Start with your first finger and snip it from the top across. Instead of cutting the next one from the top, cut that one from the bottom. So you've got a wiggly finger, OK, but it's hanging down. 
back to the top. And then finally, your last one to the bottom. So you've got two cuts from the top and two from the bottom. So if it's worked, it looks a bit like sort of a crown with four fingers sticking up. This is the trickiest bit, but the last bit, right? Grab a finger, it doesn't matter which one. Grab a finger. This time, I want you to cut through the middle of the finger, but you've got to start from the edge of the paper. And you cut up through the middle of the finger and leave about a centimetre at the top. So, up to the top, OK? Last oh. finger. Looking good. Almost to the top. Whoa. Cool! You've got, if it's worked, a big hole. Now stand up and pass it through your body. Who managed it? Me! Put your hands up. Brilliant! Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. OK, take another piece of A4 paper. Doesn't matter what colour. OK, by doing one fold, do you think we could make this into another shape? Yeah. By folding that down. Shape? A square. A square is the easiest shape to make. If you fold the width onto the length, you do make a square, don't you? With a rectangle bit left. That rectangle bit at the bottom, I want you to fold that rectangle bit at the bottom carefully and then cut it off, because we don't need that, do we? All manage that? Flap it about? Yay! Hang on a minute, is this a polygon? Yeah. Why is it a polygon? Lima? Because it has straight sides. Four straight sides, and they're all... The same. The same or equal. We call this... Do you know? A regular what? polygon. Good lad. A regular polygon, OK, has equal sides and equal angels. No, angles. Got to spell angles right or we'll come up with angels. Right then. Now, equal angles. So, hang on a minute. What do you think each angle in a square is? Well, that's easy, isn't it? It's a right angle and it's 90 degrees. Super. Fantastic. Is that easy? Yeah. Really easy. Right. A harder question. Fold it from corner to corner to make a triangle. Yeah? Cool. What do the angles in a triangle add up to? Angles in a triangle. Does anyone know? Does anyone know? You should all know. Tara? 180 degrees. 180! The angles in a triangle add up to? 180 degrees. Does anyone know what sort of triangle that is, then? What sort of triangle? Tajana? Isosceles. Isosceles. Can you spell it? I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S. -E -E well done. She's got it right. Give her a round of applause. That's a really hard word to spell, but it's easy to understand. An isosceles triangle has how many equal sides, Mohammed? Two. Two. What about the third one? Daniel? It's, um, it's either longer or shorter. Yeah, look. Look at that one there. Either longer or shorter. I think yours is longer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. That bottom side. Oh, it's much longer. So it's isosceles. Brilliant. Tell you what, fold it again in half. Fantastic. What'd you get? Another isosceles. Another isosceles triangle. Yeah. Keep folding it. Isosceles triangles. Fantastic. Yeah. Open it out. Wow. Look at that. Now, when you open it out, look at all your fold lines. You've got a series of isosceles triangles, haven't you? They're all equal to each other. They're all equal in size and they're all equal in shape. Now then, does anyone know the word that we use to describe two shapes in maths that are the same in size and shape. It's a hard one, and it begins with C. Adtha? A, a congruent. Congruent. Very good. Congruent isosceles triangles. Wow. Start folding your triangles up again. I like to see those isosceles triangles. Come on, let's fold them up. I like yours. Come up here. William, I like yours. Come on up. Oh, you've got a really tiny little yellow one, haven't you? Oh, that's lovely, that one. Are you coming up as well, Sarah, right? OK, now then. We're going to stick your triangles up on the board. Why not? Shall we stick them up? Why not? OK, let's stick them up. I'll stick mine up. There we go. Have you guessed what it is yet? Pardon? Christmas tree. 
It does look like a Christmas tree. Thank you very much. If you'd like to sit down. OK, it does look like a Christmas tree. It just needs, um... Yeah. Very good. Reminds me of a song, this. Oh, isosceles, isosceles. You look just like a Christmas tree. Isosceles, isosceles. Two angles have equal degrees. Shall we sing along? Oh, isosceles, isosceles. You look just like a Christmas tree. Isosceles, isosceles. Two angles have equal degrees. Can you say a round of applause? <laughs> Two equal degrees. So, hang on a minute. That's the right angle, isn't it? Definitely? Definitely a right angle, 90 degrees. What are these two angles here, then? Can you work them out? Can you work them out without measuring or anything like that? Go on, Sarah. 45 degrees. Why? Why 45? Because, nine, uh, because all angles equal 180, and 90 is half of 180, and half of 90 is 45. That is absolutely superb. Well explained. Do you want to be a teacher one day? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. OK? 45, yeah. 45 and 90. Wow, so we're learning a lot about polygons, aren't we? OK, we know that they are shapes with all straight sides. What polygons have we come across so far? Squares. Square, OK. Rectangles, Rectangles and... Triangles. Triangles, so far. Brilliant. Now for a more interesting shape. What about a hexagon? Who would like to draw a hexagon on the board for me? Max, go on, you're close. Just pop it in there, OK? Max is going to draw a hexagon. How many sides does he need to draw? How many? Six. Sides. Six. Nice and easy. Pretty good. Would it be easy to work out, say, an angle inside a hexagon, do you think? Hmm. Called an interior angle. An angle inside a hexagon. Any guesses? Anyone know? Um, I th I'd think around 120. Around 120, or bigger than 90 degrees. So it's bigger than 90 degrees, it's smaller than 180 degrees, isn't it? What sort of angle do we call that? An angle that's between 90 and 180. Special name? Daniel? Obtuse. Obtuse, angle. yeah. Any better guesses? 120? 135. 135, good try. 110. It's around there, isn't it? 100 and summer, I reckon. Now, we could measure it, I suppose, couldn't we? But that diagram's not drawn to scale anyway, is it? So, I know we'll use my old friend the square to help us out. Now, I need a couple of very willing volunteers. Annie and Dadan. OK, you're going to be the folder, Dardan. You stand there. Annie, come round here. You are going to be the holder. Stand round there. We have a piece of square paper. Could you get your square paper out of your folders? Just tucked in at the back. Now, we've got a big square, OK? So we need two people. What I'd like you to do is, first of all, you hold it along the edge, fold the square in half. Nice and easy. Hey, we've made two congruent rectangles. rectangles. Of course we have. Now. The top bit of your square, I want you to fold in half towards the centre. Go on, you can do that. Let's hold that up. We've got to hold it at the centre with our finger, and then we're going to have to fold one of these corners up to the quarter line. Brilliant. OK. See, you've managed it beautifully. Well done. OK, and crease it. OK, so you should have got that, OK? There we go. And now for the second fold, OK? Same thing from the opposite corner. Finger on the centre. Take that opposite corner up. That's it. And stick it onto the quarter line, but over her finger. Well done, and then crease it. Brilliant. Brilliant.